What's up, Fox Nation? Welcome back to another episode of Fox Plays. Your host, Fox, aka Alex. Okay, we. I promise you, we're gonna finish this game today. All right. I had a little, little bit of a break. You know, set. You know, I, I. All right, I didn't have a break. I just ate a pizza. All right, and now I feel, now I feel like my brain's like wide up. It's like, I got that pizza energy. I'm like, I think I know the solution. All right. So, this is what we got to do. Do you remember this room? Okay, this is what you want to do. So I noticed that she follows me, and she obviously wants to get across this hallway. So what we need to do is we need to get her to follow me. Is she following me? Yeah, okay. So I need her to stay there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a loop around this classroom. It's the only thing I haven't done yet. And I hope that that power of that cheese and pepperoni pizza has given my brain like that boost powers of like extra concentration abilities to solving obtuse horror puzzles. And I swear, you know how people go, oh, I'm really good at puzzles. Like, I, and you, you know, you can buy like Sudoku books or crossword books and all that. Imagine if someone made like, oh, that'd be fucking sick if Konami did it. If Konami published like a Silent Hill puzzle book. And you just imagine just opening this book and it's just these pictures, of these gross fucking things that you go like, okay, now solve this puzzle. And you're just like, oh, like remember like the hanging dead body puzzle in, was it Silent Hill 2? I forgot what it was. Alright, go in. So my shadow was over there on the other side of the classroom. So now when I walk to the other end... She will be here. Boom. Alright, let's swap. Remember when you enrolled so full of passion? Participating every vet, vet, in every school activity, showing for your academic abilities, grabbing the attention of your peers and teachers. She did grab the attention. Then things took a turn for the worse at home. All the attention quickly turned into an unwarded scrutiny. So you chose... Oh. Acceptance. I'm picking all the bottom options. Okay. This place is completely lifeless. Even ideas are buried here. No, don't burn my books. Oh, you guys are wankers. Imagine like those people that burn books and add the spirit money to throw them off. There can't be an intact pa book pages or else this would be for naught. Imagine like, these people that were meant to like burn these books. Oh, what? that's way. You're closer to Mrs. Yin. I heard that she had to flee the country overnight. Is that true? I'm not sure. She never said anything about leaving. Unlike Mrs. Yin, we don't have the connection to guide us to safety. Aren't you afraid? Well, actually, what bothers me the most is, do you know how the reading list got leak leaked out? Stop asking questions. I'm as clueless as you. He totally did it. Let's just hurry up and finish this. We don't want to get caught. Yeah, like the, those like scenarios where like you know I don't know like say I don't, I'm sure Nazi England, Nazi not Nazi England, Nazi Germany. Um, they probably burnt stuff like that. Imagine they just like I went, hey, let's just not burn like reading. They're like, oh, that's actually a really cool book. Like, I, but if they got like copies of Fifty Shades of Grey, they can burn it. That's that's no problem at all. A written verdict from the court. Chung Ming Hui, district level educators, found guilty of students Wei and other of conclusion of the communist forces. Chang Ming Hui is to be put to death after the court's ruling. Wei Chong Ting pleads guilty of affiliation with communist forces, reading a prohibited text with rebellious and corrupt thoughts, will be sentenced to 15 years jail time. Just trying to think of who's Mrs. Hu who's Hui. So I'm just been, I'm been had a hard time keeping track of these characters. Can't grab this, can't grab that. Okay, so we're back here. Hey, okay, we're into our next part of the game. So we're going back to the book club. Okay, we're not going back to the book club. My bad, guys. Okay, 
Okay, this time we're gonna keep going right. Ah, oh, well. Should've just followed my instinct, hey? Okay, so we've got another cinematic. Oh, this is the bathroom. I remember the famous bathroom scene. Okay, so there's a broom here, and there's a note. The door's supplied by a broom, and there's a note on top of a snitcher. Remove the broom. So who's the snitch? That looked really cool, that warped room. They don't do that enough games where you, where you have like rooms that are like really, like it's still normal, but it's just like being bent or, you know, bent in half or warped. Like in the forest temple in Zelda Ocarina of Time, there's that one cool room where the whole hallway's twisted. They need to do more stuff like that in games. Who is this guy? I honestly don't remember. Okay. Back to our ghost world. Okay. Alright, so we got all the- so we must be near the end. I just got the achievement for collecting all the notes, so we're near the end of the game, guys. That time and fear forcing herself to breed hatred, who knew that she would take that leap and leave this world behind? Nary a last word because of fear, remorse, the reason remains undecided. I was left with a blur of confused thoughts spiraling through my mind. When I saw the sunlight again, things had changed drastically. My loved ones, the teacher went to a higher place. She was buried in an unmarked grave, leaving me a decrepit man. Fear was such a great hatred. What was she talk? Made the, the note from the teacher. Yeah, I bet. I bet you this character killed herself. And you're stuck in the spirit realm, like trying to deal with, deal with it. Oh, we're here again now. Save point. We must be near the end. Alright. Got nowhere else to go, can I? No. Oh, we're here now. Okay. What's up? There's a note in the car. Can't go up, can't go down. We're going to the puppet room. Okay. A, we got some. We got some freaking light, light shadow Zelda puzzles. Huh? How do I get? Have I overcomplicated this puzzle? Oh no! Hold on! No! 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 I haven't. Do this. Turn this off. Act, there we go. Act immediately on one's determination. This is the philosophy he believed in. That some ha someone should take fate into their own hands. With you following him, what ideas do you hold? Take hold of your destiny. That is a charming thought. So life has gained a goal. Next to him, you found yourself. You are me. Alright, now we're here. Yeah, let's go out this way. I've only seen this game, so it's gonna just be linear now. 
No matter how many times this re this replays, nothing can be unwound. You can never redeem yourself. Tell you what, though, it would be a pretty scary time to live in a country like that. Like, imagine living in, like, I don't know, communist Russia, or, um... This is the book I list I had mentioned before. I found it on our teacher's desk. Miss Fang, the country appreciates your assistance. Why is she snitching him out? Why did you do it? Did you think finding something to rely on would stave you off your fear? One day, however, he was gone just like that. You've lost everything you can depend on. What choice will you make now? Quietly accept. Okay. I don't know why she snitched on him. There we go, he's my boy here. Alright, where, where, where to? Where to? Gonna be near the ah oh, upstairs today. Okay. Oh, he's gonna lead us upstairs. Oh, I remember this. You know what I want to know. Alright, obviously this is like a nightmare world or whatever you want to call it. But when I go back to another one, I'm a, I'm a ghost. And I reckon and this place has just gone to shit. And I'm just, I guess as a ghost, haunting the place. Just trying to find some form of acceptance or something. So, memory is like a mirror reflecting the true lightness of your soul. Thanks. Thanks. Okay, here we go. Ah, oh, cool. Maybe you still want to forget, and maybe you're still afraid. Okay, here we go. So this looks like we're in the prison area now. Facing your aspirations, but not confessing to the truth. I am you. Yet you are not me. Oh, can't move. Shit. Oh, there's my boy Wei. Oh, what did I do? Did I actually kill him? Constantly cycling over and over with the only river Sun Tzu at the end of your journey. Yet, the knot of sin still lies unsolved. The bridge leading to Paramount Lysen collapse. So the Reckon with a warm crescendo welcomes you once again. That was pretty cool. They put the freaking eye in the foreground. Shit. Yeah, as I was saying, it'd be pretty scary living in a time where you can't... You know, you can't... You know, you, you get executed or go to jail if you do something like reading a book from a different country. Like, that'd be a pretty scary thing to do. But imagine if these kids saw what the future is like now, just kids complaining on Facebook. They'd just be like... I think communism is the answer for us. Oh man, Pete, why do people complain so much on Facebook? Oh, and YouTube comments. It's just a cesspit. Oh, you're going to go on stage. Everyone's going to say you're a hero. Or oh, not a noose. A noose. Okay, here we go. Can I walk to the right? Can't do anything. I assume I can use the noose here. Life ends but sin is permanent. In silence I await my curtain call. 
So I can use the noose there, but I'm not going to do it. Nah. Oh, I can't walk to the right. Okay. Can I walk to the left? Can I just sit down? Alright, I guess I have to kill myself. Okay, it's the end of the game. Okay. Really like the sound. The sound design of the game was really cool. I noticed the game changed tone a lot. Like at the start, it was like building up to the creepiness, and then it became kind of like scary. Like that, that, that occasionally, you know, try and not jump scare, but at least throw something in your way. Like those monsters and that, and then they just took it away. So at the end. So at the end, like, I was just like, oh, this is, I'm just intrigued. Like, I, I stopped getting set, scared. So I don't know if you call that a plus or a negative. I really like the storyline and the way it was told is really cool. But I'm just, I'm actually a bit confused. So I'm going to, I'm going to go on, the, I'm going to go on the internet. I'm going to go on YouTube and like, check out what the other endings are. Because I wasn't quite sure. So obviously you snitched. So you're the snitch. But I don't know if... If there was a reason why, I'm, I'm a bit confused. That's what confuses me. Why did you snitch on all those people? Yeah, I don't know. I like I like the game though. Actually, to the audience at home who stuck around, maybe you understood it a bit better as just being an observer and just watching it. What do you guys think the actual game means? But Red Candle, you've done a really good job. Really, I like the game was good. And I got scared a couple of times. Well, part two or part three? God, I got spooked. I got spooked. Everyone loves you. I like that that screen though, that creepy ghost photo. That's cool. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'm gonna go now on the internet and look up what that freaking story meant. Cause yeah, I'm I'm curious. And leave a comment down below. What do you guys think? What do you think it means in that? So thanks so much for sticking around. My name is Fox Plays. I'll, actually, I'll leave a playlist up. If you really like me playing horror games, check out my playlist on Clock Tower. That's one of my most favorite horror series, besides Silent Hill and Resident Evil, obviously. Clock Tower's up there too. Another wicked JRPG horror game. It's not a JRPG. Japanese horror game. And, yeah. See you guys in the next episode. Peace out.